Section 5.6, Hess's Law. Let's say you're looking at a map and you're trying to find out how many miles it is to go from, from our school to San Francisco. And no matter how hard you look, nobody tells you the distance from, uh, from Hurricane West Virginia to San Francisco. Well, what if the map told you the distance from Huntington to Columbus? And then on another place in the map, it told you the distance from Columbus to Chicago and from Chicago to Denver and from Denver to San Francisco. And then you could count up the, the miles it took to get from Hurricane to Huntington. Well, you could add up all those miles and it would be the same as if we were important enough for a map to tell the, diff, uh, tell the miles from Hurricane to San Francisco. That's essentially Hess's law. Hess's law said that if you want to go from Hurricane to San Francisco, that's the same amount of miles as going from Hurricane to Huntington, to Columbus, to Chicago, to Denver, to San Francisco. It's exactly the same. You simply add up the legs and it's the same as if it was one journey. And that's exactly what you're doing when you have chemical reactions. If you have a chemical reaction from here to here, that has a certain delta H, which is a state function. You have the, the delta H of the uh, reactants, and you have the, the H of the products, and the delta H is simply the products minus the reactants. Well, if I had the delta H of the reactants, and the delta H of the products of this first one, then I would know what delta H was. And then if I use this one as products and reactants, then I would know the delta H of this one. And then I would know the delta H of all of them individually, and I could add them all up, and I wouldn't have to measure the distance from Hurricane to San Francisco. So instead of someone sitting with a calorimeter doing every possible zillions and zillions and zillions of reactions, you really only need to know a few reactions, and then you, if you, your reaction that you're trying to find, you simply find a way to get from where you are to where you want to go using all of the tabulated uh, reactions that someone knows the energy for. It's exactly the same. It saves you a million years of problems. So Hess's law simply means adding up all the little delta H's will get you the same amount as if you did it once and did the big one. Only it's saving you time because you don't have to do it yourself. You can simply add up the ones that have already been done. Okay. Um, and you could, there's every other analogy is the same. Like if you want to go from sea level to the top of Mount Everest, well, you could measure from sea level to the top of Mount Everest, or you could measure from sea level up to the to any point and then just keep adding until you got to Everest. And it really wouldn't matter. It's the same. You're going from a certain level to a certain level, and that's a state function. And because it's a state function, it doesn't matter how you get there. So, this says we can estimate the delta H using published delta H values and the properties of enthalpy, and enthalpy means that it's a state function. Okay, so Hess's law states that if a reaction is carried out in a series of steps, delta H for the overall reaction will be equal to the sum of the enthalpy changes for the individual steps. So, if you have, a, if you have a, um, a reaction like this, methane gas plus burns in oxygen, so this is natural gas, it's stuff that's in your stove, in your kitchen, uh, burns in oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. Well, if you could think about it, uh, you could say, well, maybe you could go to gaseous water and make some carbon monoxide and you could look up this reaction in a book and then look up the reaction from carbon dioxide and water to here. And that way, these two add up to the same place. 
So you can add them up and find out how much this is going to be. You can add them the parts, and the parts will equal the whole. Okay, so it would be like it would be like I want to measure from the zero mark to the twelve inch mark. Well, you if you look in a book and you say, well, it's three inches from the zero to the three, and it's seven inches from the three to the ten, and it's two inches from the ten to the two, you could add up all three of those and find out how far it is from the zero to the twelve. That's Hess's law. So it's actually pretty obvious and pretty cool and it makes it very easy because enthalpy is a state function it does not matter you can simply add up all the little parts and the total will be the same amount uh, in parts added up as it would be if you went in one step so if you do something in one step or ten steps you're going to get from the same place to the same place and it doesn't matter